I hope that they take away from my monologue the sense that you can have a friend and no matter who that friend is, what labels they have, you can still love them no matter what. We're actually people like you, just we love different people, which everybody loves different people. I know what you're thinking. I look like I'm 10. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, I get that a lot. I'm actually 15. <laughs> I know, I know. I'm short, but I'm still 15. I remember when I was little, like car seat little, my mom shared a story with my dad about one of her cousins. She mentioned to my dad that when her cousin told his parents that he was gay, his father didn't want to be his father anymore. I remember my parents were really upset about this. It made me start thinking about how I was different from the other girls, how I didn't want a boyfriend. You know, when I was young, <laughs> the whole boyfriend-girlfriend crap started in third grade. I know, right? That's way too young. I decided to dig deep into my feelings. I finally found a label that matched what I was feeling. I'm gay. I figured this out when I was about seven. But when I found my label, I got scared. For some reason, I thought my parents were going to kick me out of the house, even though they thought kicking your own child out was not right. Now, I didn't have a lot of crushes on girls or anything like that. I just knew I would like to marry a girl. The first person I told that I was gay was my sister, Alexandra. Now, when I told her, she was five. <laughs> <laughs> it kind of went like this. I told my sister to sit down. <laughs> then I said, I'm gay. Alexandra was like, that's awesome, Trin. <laughs> but what does that mean? <laughs> I explained to her that I wanted to marry a girl, not a boy. Alexander is very supportive of me. After I told her I was gay, all of Alex, our stuffed animals were suddenly gay. <laughs> <laughs> we even wanted the ones who were not gay to be gay, too. <laughs> Most of our stuffed animals were girls. We had a lot of lesbian couples. <laughs> in our stuffed animal world, we created a gay club, like in the movie The Birdcage, <laughs> where you can get drinks and watch other stuffed animals dance. <laughs> the straight couples were allowed to go to the gay club, too. Let's skip a few years to when I was nine. <laughs> My best friend Celia would say, Hey Trin, I met this really cute boy at school I think you'd really like. She told me this all <laughs> the time. I thought it was nice of her to try and get me a boyfriend, but as you know, I'm gay. I met Celia in kindergarten, but a couple years later, my mom pulled me and my sister out. They were homeschooled. I told Celia and my other best friend Jules that I was gay. They didn't even blink an eye. They are very supportive of me. The next time I saw Celia, she said, Hey, Trin, I met this really cute girl at school. <laughs> Her saying that made me so happy. I'm so very lucky that I have friends who accept me for me. Now the hard part was telling my parents. One night, I went to the store with just my mom. I remember I was sitting in my booster seat. We pulled into a parking spot, and I said, Mom, I like girls. That's great, she said. We got out of the car and walked into the store. I remember asking, you're okay with it? I don't remember what she said, but I know it was something, of course it's okay. We moved from Colorado to Jacksonville when I was 11. My mom found this homeschool group that was kind of run by two lesbian women. My mom started an art class and she invited the people from the homeschool group. That's where I met this girl named Ash. 
Ashley. <laughs> oh, I thought she was super cute. She was just so funny and she made me laugh. Some of the other moms were telling me that Ashley was shy. I didn't get that. Let's bounce to a year later. I had my big 14th birthday party and Ashley came. She was wearing boyish clothes. I thought she looked gorgeous. She was the highlight of my birthday. I was extremely sad to see her leave my party. I thought she didn't want to hang out with me. But later I found out that she thought I didn't want to hang out with her either. A month later, we started a once a week homeschool day. And guess what? What? Ashley was there. <laughs> At some point, I found out that Ashley wanted to be Charlie. It didn't really surprise me. I was really happy for him. It finally clicked for me. When Ashley switched over to Charlie, he became his true self. He seems to be a lot happier now that he is Charlie. I'm so glad he found himself. I started to get to know him. I realized that I liked Charlie. <laughs> I wanted to sit next to him. I was extremely sad to leave the park where the homeschool group met to go to gymnastics. <laughs> I looked forward to my Thursdays. Heck, I wanted every day to be Thursday. <laughs> we had Charlie and our other friend Dave over to swim. We kept inviting them over because Charlie had three younger siblings and Dave had a little sibling too. The four of us started having co-ed sleepovers. We had so much fun. I don't quite remember, but Charlie and I started holding hands. I learned that Charlie liked me too. Just as I started to get to know him, his whole family was going on a trip for a whole month. The good thing was that we could text each other. We texted each other almost every single day. It was almost two weeks since he left, and he sent me this text that made me run around the house and cry. He said, I love you so much, Trinity. Have I told you that? I don't think I've really said that. I was speechless. When he came back, I couldn't wait to see him but I was scared that he would be different or not like me anymore. He did change a little, but he still liked me. <laughs> I went to an antique shop and I found this necklace that was beautiful. I wanted to get it for Charlie, so I did. My only concern was that it was kind of girly, so I was unsure. He came over for a first week over in a long time. I went and got the necklace. I asked him to close his eyes and hold out his hands. I put the necklace in his hands and told him to open his eyes. He opened his eyes and told me it was beautiful. I made sure I was the first one to tell him I loved him in person. <laughs> Charlie's the first boy I have ever loved and that's a big deal. I'm so very grateful that I have this special relationship with him. I couldn't have asked for a better friend. <laughs>